Hi, I'm Alex Archbull, and I've been buying and selling antiques since I was nine years old. From basements to scrapyards, I'll look just about anywhere I can to find lost antiques and collectibles. And sometimes I'll go big and buy everything. I never know what's going to happen or who I'm going to meet. This is our life, this is our adventure, and this is Curiosity Inc. Hi, everybody, and welcome to today's episode. Well, I am in my garage and I'm going through some treasures. Last episode, we dug out a bunch of 1800s dolls, some postcards, and I don't know, all kinds of other neat stuff. We're going to continue digging through this uh, estate purchase that I made and see what else is uh, in these boxes, what's buried here. The first one that I'm going to go through today is I was thinking, well, there is a book I need to go through still that I didn't go through last time. We'll do that after. I'm going to go through this plastic bin that's right here first and um, see what's in there. So let's uh, check it out. <laughs> Again, the, these items came from a um, very eclectic collection, uh, sort of a hoarding situation, uh, which unfortunately I couldn't film the inside of the house, but let me tell you, it was packed full. I grabbed some random bins and uh, we're gonna go through them here today and see what I got. So uh, let's open up the first bin. Now I could see through the side, when I picked this bin up, I could see that truck right there. And that is a uh, very nice Lincoln truck. There's some little uh, Hot Wheel size cars there. But that is a nice uh, 1940s era Lincoln sand truck. Original paint, original decals on there. Oh, we've got an Allied van line truck as well. Let's see. What do we have here? This is a wheat germ cereal. Vita B. Looks like a another Lincoln toy, maybe like a delivery truck of some kind. That's the Mercedes kind of. Is that the Mercedes concept car? Looks like it. Anyway, I think they had this lined up with that. I don't know if that is the original back because it looks like this was a. Uh, some sort of delivery truck at one point. Might have had a trailer or something like this Allied van line trailer, which I want to get out to have a look at because it looks super cool. Oh yeah, that's a good piece. That's in really nice shape. Really, really clean. And there's the cab for it right there. I have to be careful. You take stuff off of that side and it could teeter over. Boy, it's in really, really great shape. Let's get this out of the plastic and have a look at it. Okay, that should fit on something like that. But a nice 40s era pressed steel Allied van line truck in near pristine condition. I mean, that thing is really, really nice. Considering most kids would have sat on the top there and scooted around on it like a ride-on toy. Somehow that one survived. Now some of these other things in here, well, this is a, a little tin plate uh, toy. A European car of some kind. It reminds me of like maybe, um, they, they made a Mercedes concept that kind of looked like this, but there's no, it could just be a generic car. They didn't want to pay the royalty or like a random, like an Opal or something. Got some, looks like Christmas decorations, maybe some antique little carved, uh, this would be Ukrainian or Polish. Little wooden figures. It's moving day. Little toy car. It's not a red line Hot Wheel or anything. Of course, certain Hot Wheels are worth a whole lot more. That's some kind of, uh, it's a, a Nissan 280ZX, but it's just one of those sort of lower end pieces. A couple little decorations, okay. We've got a little reliable auto laundry lubricatorium. And does it have the cars in there? Can't really tell right now, but it's like a little uh, mini gas station, like a matchbox size gas station. It's pretty cool. And for some reason, a Hot Wheels fire truck wrapped up and it's not in the best of shape. This is newer. 
This is a uh, Melissa and Doug play barn. This is actually not that old at all. It's a wooden toy made in the last, you know, by 15 years or something like that. But it does have, it looks like some accessories with it, which might be a little bit older. Some antique roosters bagged up, a little uh, farm tractor. Maybe they were gonna use this as sort of like a dollhouse to decorate with, like they did with the curio cabinet the other day. Nice little wooden play barn though, for a kid. And what do we have here? Some notes, Lincoln truck, stamp steel, made in Canada. Lincoln ice delivery. Oh, Lincoln ice delivery deck along the side, or decal, some might say. And a tow truck. Oh, awesome. Nice, fun toys out of that batch. We'll go digging a little further. I should see, since it's right here in the open, if this Little People house is actually in here. That's the uh, 1970s Fisher-Price Little People Playhouse. And fairly rare to find it with the, uh, well, this might actually be early 80s, but hard to find it with the original box. Toys and Wheels was a local uh, toy shop in Edmonton. I remember going there and oogling over... Uh, toys when I was a kid. I was thinking about what toys. Specifically, it would have been Mask, probably, which hardly any of you at home would remember, but it was exciting for me. I'm going to set this bin down, and then we'll cut the string off and have a look inside and see what's in here. I'm hoping it's in here, and they just didn't use the box for, like, I don't know, worn-out underwear or socks. <laughs> you never can tell. Oh, okay. Well, it looks like it's in there. Oh, and not only is it in there, there's another set in here too. The uh, playground, the nursery set was in there. Something else wrapped up too. So maybe there's multiple sets. It's a little dusty. Right from sitting, I don't know if it's from sitting in the box or what. I hope all the accessories are in here. Let's take it out and have a look. Okay, I think I figured out what happened. We had the house, we have the box. Look, I even have the original bag from the toy store when they bought it brand new. So everything looked like it was there. And I thought, okay, well, it's got the nursery set. But what they did is they used the box from the nursery set to put all the accessories from the house in. So in fact, this is a complete house with all of its furniture, including the little playpen for the babies and the little TV sets and whatever else was supposed to go with it. There's the family car. Everything is here that's meant to be here. So that is complete, pretty well brand new 1980s Fisher-Price Little People house. And it's the Canadian version because it's French English. And uh, that makes sense that it was sold here because, uh, well, heck, I'm in Canada. But that makes the packaging a little bit more rare to a Fisher-Price collector and hopefully a little bit more desirable. Well, I'm going to get that box back up again. We'll get it packed away and uh, that one can go off for sale. I noticed something about the little Mercedes racer. You can see the Mercedes logo right on the front there. It's tin, it's Japanese, it still has the original sticker on the bottom. It's basically like in brand new shape, but somebody has gone to some effort and put yellow tape over top to cover up all the stickers. And it just is just goopy enough. I might still be able to get it off. Yes, I can get it off and reveal those original details underneath here the lithography oh it's a taxi not many people get a ride in a mercedes gullwing taxi cab uh, they covered up everything that said taxi on it but lucky for me whatever tape they used is actually not causing any sort of damage whatsoever to the toy and i can just take this right off and get it right back to the way it's supposed to be, just like that. Much better. I recognize this box. This is a uh, Kitty Collier collector's doll. At least that's what should be in here anyway. Um, this would be the 18 inch, the big version. Um, they were marketed to collectors, to doll collectors. And there, you know, they're probably two, couple hundred bucks or more. I got the original box and inside we have feet. Oh, we have two dolls. 
one is not a kitty collier. One is, in fact, see, that's that's the kitty collier doll right there. Sort of like a um, like a fashion doll. I wouldn't say Barbie-esque, but anyway. That's what's meant to be in that box. This was not meant to be in the box. This looks to be another. She looks surprised to be out. Huh? What am I doing out here? <laughs> Let's see if there's a little tag on her. This feels like um, another maybe late 1800s, turn of the century doll. There is a tag. Let's see what her tag says. Mm, what year? 1910. Germany, Mabel, 1910. She needs a little bit of a cleaning. She's got a little bit of a mushy face. And her eyes are kind of frozen in this horrified look. <laughs> Will they move? A little bit. Yeah, they do. It's better like that. It's not so good when it's like this. Anyway, we'll give her uh, face a little bit of a gentle cleaning and leave her here with her other cool antique doll. So that was a nice find to have in with the other uh, Kitty Collier doll. And, you know, she's not so bad either. I don't know if it's got extra clothing in here. Doesn't look like it. It's got the stand, fancy display stand. Like, these weren't cheap. These were not inexpensive dolls for collectors, so. Basic doll, red hair. And then I guess you get the clothes and all the other accessories later. Somebody will like that. Okay, I brought another box to the table here. We have bedroom suite that looks like it's designed for a Barbie style doll, like 1970s. Woodward's, is that what's here? Hmm, that looks much older. I'll open that in a second. But let's see, we've got a little table. We've got a bed. The, uh, oh look, a little miniature uh, loom or a spinning wheel. I should say. Okay, we'll get the table out. Oh, mid-century modern uh, <laughs> little tiny furniture. Cute. Oh, I see. There's the mattress for the bed. Yep, there's the whole set. Well, I guess actually this dining room, these dining room chairs. Wow, that's definitely right out of the 70s right there. Barbie can have an actual vintage looking wooden set of furniture. It's pretty neat. What is in there? Oh, it's showing how it could be set up. Got like a Barbie and Ken hanging out, having a nice 1970s meal. Well, I'll try and get all the uh, proper stuff in the proper boxes. Oh, there's the pillows for the bed. Yeah, it's kind of a nifty little set, really. Nice to have the uh, original outer box for it, too. We'll get their mattress back where it's supposed to go. Somebody who has a doll set like that is going to think that's pretty neat. It's nice that it's real wood, too. Oh, I didn't see the mirror in there. Maybe that's in there somewhere. Hmm. I kind of saw the top of what looked like another um, uh, China head doll. Porcelain sort of doll. And I see the elastic isn't even elastic anymore. I don't know how long that's been sealed. But the elastic has turned crusty and no longer works. Let's see what we have. Okay, nice little dress. She's got sort of a nice little shawl. A note. This is a very finely hand, uh, body articulated Oh, lace doily. Let's see. I'm trying to get an idea of age because most of these sort of dolls with that hairdo, look, she's almost identical. She's smaller, so I'll do the comparison. But the head's almost the same sort of finish. So that's probably going to be uh, mid 1800s as well, just a smaller size. But she is very fine. I'm going to keep her together with all of her little accessories. She's not packing a purse full of money like the other one was, though. Keep all that together. We'll get her back in her dress at some point there. 
Uh, let's see. I'm not, I know I can see that box has a lot of Pyrex and cookbooks in it. I'm gonna get to that later. Let's bring out maybe this plastic bin. And every suitcase um, needs to be gone through. I quite literally just went into the closet of the house and I just grabbed all the suitcases that felt heavy and bought them. Sight unseen. Okay. All right. So here we go. The first one up is a nice little doll. She's got extra lots of accessories that go along with her. 1956 USA. I wonder if it's a, like a Madame Alexander or one of those sort of dolls from the 1950s. I think she's got extra outfits. We'll put her there. Another little baby doll. This is um, like a bisque sort of uh, paper mache feeling head. Which it feels like one of the arms is gone missing. So it's an armless baby. Let's see if it's dated as well. 1950s, 60s, English made. Poor thing, missing your arm. Another little doll there. These all look to be a little bit on the, well, they're not as old as some of the dolls we've been finding. Let's see. Wait, I'm trying to keep all this stuff together so we can separate it. Japanese? No. No, definitely not Japanese. It looked like a kimono, but it's um, like a little Polish doll. Actually, it's still sealed, basically like brand new. It's tied up in there. Hmm. And that's probably the uh, female version. Oh, look, there's a little tin in there too. Nothing in it. I don't think. We'll double check. Must have been from a trip or a vacation. Probably like a keepsake that was brought back. A tin within a tin. It's like the Inception box. Nope. Russian tea. And nothing in there. Well, I mean, there's something in there. There's a doll in there. Nice little doll. With its box. A little boy and a girl set. Very cute. Let's see. Well, there's arms and accessories and outfits. A little Christmas set from the looks of things. And I see what looks to be like a little Santa Claus or Mrs. Claus outfit. This little doll has roller skates on. Eyes need to be open to go roller skating, kid. Those uh, flip floppy eyes aren't quite opening, but she's dated 1955 as well. So this box appears to be all sort of 1950s dolls and in generally decent condition. Other than the ones that are missing their arms. But we'll get these inventoried. From one bin, we'll move over to opening up this box, which is Jiminy Crickets. It's Jiminy Cricket. We got a Jiminy Cricket doll, and it looks like Happy, one of the seven dwarves. He looks more like surprised, but that is a 1930s. These are both of the era Disney dolls. And the head of Mortimer Snurd. I wonder if he was if Happy was carrying it in his hand. Let that be a warning to the rest of you knuckleheads. Yuck, yuck. <laughs> and there's a Mortimer Snurd. Money Talks dollar in there. Well, where's the rest of his body? 1939. These would all be 1930s. That's pretty cool. Let's get, uh, let's get these guys out of their plastic and see what they look like. Well, if there's any doubt whether that was Jiminy Cricket, it says Jiminy Cricket right on the back of his head. Jiminy Cricket, Disney Productions, USA. This and the uh, Snow White doll would both be similar in age. Um, they had the, the Happy doll listed as being from 1940, but 
could be late 30s, early 40s, sure. The thing that surprised me the most is Jimmy's got his hat, which comes off. He's got his jacket and everything. But look, he even has his little umbrella. You'd think that would have gone missing like really quick in the bottom of a toy box or something. But no, still has it after all those years. I best keep it together and keep it safe because these little accessories can be really hard to find. Like that little umbrella for him is probably almost harder to find than Jiminy Cricket himself. But the last thing I'll show in this video is this piece here. You might have seen it in the box sitting around the corner. It is wood covered in this sort of uh, velour fabric. And it's got a little bit of purple aging to it. What's neat about it, so this would be probably 1880s, 1890s, is that it's a, a little vanity set. And when you open it up, you would put pictures of your loved ones in there. You could do your hair. But uh, it looks like this would come forward perhaps and double as like a little theater. So very theatrical. You can look at yourself like you're on stage, I guess. Um, it feels like there's staples up top here. So that might have been attached here at some point and maybe it just dropped down when the box opened and closed, probably something like that. Actually, it's a perfect fit for up there and I can feel the bumps, yeah. So that was, that was stapled at one time up top and it's a, a little vanity theater set. Now, when we open the drawer up, you would put your pictures of your loved ones on either side there. We have one of the little hinges that must have come off at some point and it says vanity theater. And uh, I said 1890s to 1900s, they have it dated on the bottom, yep. And let's see. Vanity Theater, a false curtain has been added to the stage made of green cotton. Looks about right though. Maybe it was added, but it sure feels about right. Let's see. And they did this little drawing. There's all these little notations that go with this. So this is a wooden frame vanity case covered with printed green celluloid, green velveteen and paper USA. My father first bought it as a gift for me off his aunts. And this was around 1916. They think it was old store stock because it was from the 1800s. It was probably still sitting on the store in 1916. Uh, she said it made an interesting, interesting substitute for a dollhouse. And as a young girl would use it as a little dollhouse, the box was stored for a long time in the attic of my grandparents in Silverton, Oregon. And apparently they removed some of the uh, mirrors. Oh, I see, there was two mirrors, not for photos, inside the doors and whatever covered the floor of the box. So somebody's put a piece of cardboard here. They said, well, there was something else that covered that wood originally. They've just stuck this in here as sort of a substitute. And they said the mirrors are gone. But it was used as a little girl's dollhouse in the uh, ni 19 teens and 20s. I could see that. Keep your dolls in there and maybe they have a little stage you put on a show. You know, find them the right size. What a cute little thing that is. And a, a neat piece. Nice to have all this little, the stories and the paperwork and everything to go along with it too. I wonder if anybody ever, no, nope, they never wrote anything on the bottom. That's surprising. No little secret compartments. There was something up here. Oh, that's for your uh, your mirror or your brush set would have clipped in there. I've never actually seen one quite like this before. This is a pretty ornate piece. And being that it's kind of made of uh, light gauge wood and, and paper and fabrics, probably not a lot of them really lasted. Oh, look, I think that's our missing piece right there. Yep, that's the latch to close it with. Still there, just needs to be put back on. What a fun little item. And again, another really cool piece of our past.
So guys, yet another neat day of discovery. Uh, my favorite thing today, of course, probably the, the Allied van line. I really like that. But the dolls that are coming out of this collection are absolutely amazing. You know, 100 and year old plus dolls coming out of this collection. And then some newer things too, like the wooden Barbie sets with the original packaging, the Fisher Price Playhouse, it's all in the box over there. And of course the Disney toys that uh, are bound to make you happy. So uh, I'm having lots of fun going through this collection so far. We're going to keep on digging through in future episodes, so make sure to subscribe if you want to see the rest. And, uh, of course, a lot of the stuff will be going up for sale, so stay tuned for that as well. We'll see, all guys, we'll see you guys all very soon, and as always, bye for now.